to do another video and um, because there's 31 videos being done this month you're gonna see several videos where I'm in the same clothes which I think I've talked about this over and over again I need to refill that um, today is on today's topic is on the holly bush I figure this is the perfect time of year to discuss it so let's go ahead and bring it out and plus I have a friend who is going to be sending me some and I'm really excited about that. Well, let's start with the berries. First of all, let's talk about, before we go any further, there are not gonna be any medical properties discussed in this video, only magical, because the holly bush is toxic. Now, actually the berries. There are some discussions out there on medical properties with the leaves, but I'm not gonna go over that in this video because I don't want, I don't know enough about it as far as medically to tell anybody that they can ingest it or use it in any other way than magically. Um, this video you can look that up and um, educate yourself a little bit on that if you want to hear the medical things that people are doing with the leaves. Again, that's up to you. We're going over magical properties today. We're going to start with the berry. First of all, it's red. It's gorgeous. It's pretty. So it's very good for love spells and sex spells. The fact that it's a berry, it would be very the fact that it's a berry, it would be very <laughs> helpful in fertility spells. So if someone's little swimmers are not working, you can definitely use the berry to help with that. Hanging a little bit of berries under the bed, attach it to your bed, hang it under whoever is having the problem, or you can hang it above it. I suggest under it, only because they may fall and then end up on your bed, but if you have pets, you may not want to put them under your bed. So. It's entirely up to you. You can put them in a sachet and it'll work just the same. That might be safer if you have pets. Um, so use it in fertility, spe in fertility spells, sex spells, if you want to bump up your sex. I talk a lot about sex spells in a lot of my videos because I think intimacy is very important in relationships. Maybe not so much the actual act of sex, but intimacy is very important. And that's why I discuss it a lot. It's not because I'm a horn dog. I just want to let you know I'm not a horn dog trouble getting pregnant this would be something that you could use and because the berries are only red a certain part of the year it's I, I feel it makes it that much more stronger because you only have it's kind of like um, waiting for the super moon you're waiting for these berries to develop and I think it makes the intention stronger and the magic stronger it could be just me but that's how I feel so if you are trying to have a child and you can't, this is something you definitely would like to use. This time of year, I like to hang holly in the house, which is why I'm really excited that a friend of mine is gonna be sending me some. Those landscapers are back. If you watch my Dragon's Blood video, you already know. That these landscapers are driving me crazy. Okay. <laughs> Um, if it doesn't get here in time, then I will go pick some myself because here in Texas, the time of year, we have it everywhere. Um, I just have to go find some, and I'm sure it wouldn't be hard to forge some, but I'm hoping that it gets here in time. Anyways, the reason that I want to hang it up is because this time of year is my time of the year. This is when I shine. This is whenever I'm energized. This is when my house is the most busy with the spirits. This is like, it is in October for a lot of other people. It's that way for me in December. And, um, somebody just walked in the door. So, uh, I like to hang Holly up in the house because it invites family members. It doesn't just open the door up for spirits of all shapes and sizes of the world. It invites past family members. And these are the people that I want to come to my home during the holidays. And I, if I'm not mistaken, that's been used for centuries to do that, to invite pass on family members for holidays. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just in my family. But I could have swore I had heard stories about it from um, that other people have done it too. And it works. It absolutely works. It's like having the mistletoe up and then you kiss underneath the mistletoe while putting holly around your front door or whatever door that you use as an entrance to your house. Because I know some people use the back door as their front door wherever the main entrance of your house is if you hang holly up that will invite pass on um family members if you lost your parents or been unfortunate and lost a child um this is what you this is what you would use to invite these family members in this is this is like giving them the green light to come in also find them to be a very um potent type of herb to use in protections they're thorny 
the berries. The leaves are strong. They're they're thick and they're and, and they're tough. When you pop them in half, they actually pop. They don't just tear. It's a very strong herb to use in protection spells, especially when it comes to family protection because the holly bush is very uh, much a family. How can I explain that to where it makes sense? Where it's a type of herb that you would use in, if for instance, you're inviting your family in, you're, you're, you can use it in fertility spells to increase your family size. So the bush for me, uh, the bush, <laughs> the holly bush for me, it's a it's like a family herb it's something that you would want to plant around your house and um i, I know i had it at our previous house we had several holly bushes all the way up and down the house so for family protection uh, you can clip off those thorns and be careful because i can't tell you how many times i poke myself with those thorns and they hurt <laughs> so you want to um make sure you're you're careful with that but don't limit your magic just because you might get poked you know what i'm saying oh my god this video is being so perverted poked I feel like every other thing I'm saying is kind of perverted. I've heard that it is used in beauty magic. Mm, I don't know about that. I've heard that it's used in luck. I could see that with it being green and thorny, kind of um, like head hold strong. So I can definitely see myself using it in um, money or luck magic. Um, beauty, again, not so much in my, my eyes, but I don't really know what comes in a beauty spell I, I think beauty comes from within so I don't know how it would change it from the inside but you know it's just my opinion I'm also using dream magic again I've never used it in dream magic or beauty magic so I don't really have a lot to go on on that so if anybody who is watching this has used it for any of that type of magic if you don't mind sharing down in the comments um, people read the comments and we learn a lot from each other in the comments so if you have anything you want to offer in the comments um, pertaining to any other kind of magic with Holly um, we're all here to learn so if you want to share that that would be fantastic good spell if you're doing any kind of shadow work and you're you've lost someone and maybe you're doing a ritual or some shadow work and, and, and you're trying to say goodbye to somebody while you're healing and and moving on using holly for this is really good um, I actually burned almost an entire bush a box full of holly a couple years after my father passed away basically releasing him to be free because he was kind of stuck with me because I couldn't let go and um, I don't want to get into this but using it in I'll be back so yeah I was kind of holding on to him and um, so I did a, a releasing ritual with some of my shadow work and, and I used Holly because you use Holly to invite them in and then you use Holly to let them go and the path is kind of like the two-way freeway so that they know that they can always come back you know and um, it was really awesome because I can actually see him walking away and then just dissolve and I've done a lot of, of shadow work healing from that and I still am and I probably will for quite a long time and you know I, I do really good for a while and then I end up pulling him back and then it's not fair but you know whenever you're mourning and you're hurting you, you get kind of selfish and that's what kind of was going on with that but I used Holly and I, I burned a big old box like a big old box of it that night and yeah it was good so if you're trying to say goodbye to someone and you're doing your shadow work and in and, and fire is really really good for healing it, it at least for me it is and um, burning Holly the energy that came off of this bush because it, it has this family energy to it. I, I can't explain it. You just gotta feel it. But it has like this, like a family energy to it. So it's it's really good in, in those type of magics that pertain to your family and loved ones. I did burn that in the fire pit outside. I do want to add that because the berries are toxic. So I don't know what would happen if you were to breathe them in. So I definitely did that outside. I just wanted to add that little if you are um, you know the type of parent that you have to work and you don't really have anyone to babysit your children and and they're not exactly at the age that you would like and it does happen and your children are um, left home alone while you're at work drying up holly and the berries and powdering them into a powder base and putting that around your house makes such a bubble around your house it's like nobody can see it 
whenever your house is surrounded by holly and it will keep your children protected and that goes for you too if you're a single person and and, and you, you know you're worried that someone might try to break in or something then you would want to use holly put it around your house it is very good it's like i said it's like a family herb it becomes part of your family and it becomes protective of you and to dry it out and to powder it and put it around your house you can add it with salt you can add it with mistletoe rosemary my favorite um, whatever you want to add it with, you can add it to it. Um, I don't know if you've watched the sugar um, protection spell that I've done. You can add it to that as well and put it around your house. If you can't, if you can't plant it around the house, like right now, I can't plant any around my house at the moment. Hanging them around your house when bad weather comes is a good way to keep your house from getting hit by lightning, from getting flooded. Uh, again, this is like a family herb. It protects your home and it kind of bubbles you from these losing your roof, getting hit by lightning, flooding, losing your siding of your house. Because believe me, when we first moved to this house, I lost a piece of our roof and I was like, oh my God, we didn't have this problem when I lived at the other house with all the holly bushes around the house. I just remember that's all I could think of. Like, yeah, if we had holly planted here, this roof wouldn't have gotten tore off. It was like our first April at that house that we just bought. And that's all I could say. And my husband was like, really? I'm like, yeah. That's all I really got on Holly. I'm sure there's a ton of things. But for me, it's, it's a very family herb. So that's what I use it for. So if you have anything that you want to add about the Holly Berry Bush, then please do so in the comments. People read the comments and we all learn from each other. And I'd love to learn new things that I haven't used it for. I'd be so happy. So, um, yeah, we went over fertility. Like the berries would be the... Um, the child, the thorns would represent the man. Uh, or, you know, whatever makes more sense to you. That's just what makes sense to me. So that's that's how I would use it. Family protection, um, letting go of a loved one. Um, welcoming loved ones in during the holidays to let them know, hey, the door's open, come and visit after they've passed on. Like, come on in, come on, you can come in. Just because you passed on doesn't mean you're not welcome in our house. You know, that's what it does. I don't know, a couple years ago where I read that Holly represents Christ. For those of you who are uh, my crystal pagans out there who do have Jesus in their heart and those sort of things, um, it was said that the berries represent the blood. Uh -huh. Good afternoon, Claremont. Can I help you? Thorns from the bush represent the thorns around, um, I guess, Christ's head and the berries represent his blood. For those of you who are um, a follower of Jesus, and I, I just want to add it because I thought this was a little cool tidbit for those of you. So those of you who don't, you can already cut out. But it says if you're trying to bring Jesus into your heart, and you know I respect everybody's path, so I do want to add this because I do have several crystal pagans that, that watch my channel, and I respect everybody's path and everybody's deity. It's your thing, you do what you do. I had to give her the phone call. Um, where was I at? So, yeah, it's saying if you're trying to bring Jesus into your heart, into your home, and you're trying to get on that path, that you would use holly. Um, Christians who don't practice witchcraft, you probably won't like this because it is kind of, it is witchery. <laughs> and you are using your intent and spell work to bring Jesus into your house. I know it's kind of contradicting to what a lot of people think and feel, but I didn't want to add that there because... I've met so many different types of people with so many different types of paths and who follow deities that the deities that they follow they don't go by the book that goes with them which is why I don't share which is why I don't share a lot about me and Hecate because I don't need anyone telling me that oh she doesn't like that you can't so that you know that's one reason why I don't share a lot about Hecate on here because it irritates me that uh, someone who has read too many books, wants to tell me what to do whenever um, I'm the one that works with her. So, and I'm the one that has a relationship with her. So, yeah, I think I'm bitching now. It's okay. <laughs> sometimes it's hard being on YouTube because we get you get criticized so much and sometimes we just gotta let it out a little bit. So I just let it out a little bit in this video. But I'm gonna move on. Um, I love this song. Um, if you have anything that you want to add to this video, please do so below. And um, excuse my rant. I'm going to leave it in there. I'm not going to edit it out. Um, sharing in the comments is a way for people who don't make videos to share their knowledge. And we are a community. We're learning and growing from each other. And I've noticed that this community has grown 
tremendously in the last seven years. Just it's growing and growing and growing and I think it's amazing for us to be here and help each other and learn and grow. So that's it. All right, well that's all I got for Holly and I'm getting thirsty so I'm gonna go refill my cup and I will see you guys tomorrow at the next video. And as always, blessed be. Bye guys. Is knocking on my door?